Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Captain Moran, and in this Affinity Design tutorial, I will show you how to quickly and easily create isometric text only using the artistic text tool and the isometric functions in Affinity Designer. So with that said, let's set off. So I've just opened a blank document here. Uh, I am using 2048 by 2048, and I'm just gonna start off creating a big shape covering the background. I prefer using shapes as background <clears throat> instead of setting it in uh in the creation of the document because i feel this is easier to change around on if i want to change the colors or stuff like that uh and this also makes it easier if i just want transparent background in the end obviously <laughs> um so i just assigned this color i have a little color palette on the side there that i'm just following using right now and then i'm going to use the text tool artistic text tool by you can either click click here or press t on your keyboard i'm going to drag out just a roughly size i'm going to write my text so now i'm going to just uh, use uh, moeren obviously moeren uh, i'm going to center it to the just position it roughly to the center let's get it down a little bit and um, for this one though i am gonna use my um frankly gothic demi 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 yes uh as my font obviously this works with uh any fonts so that's up to you position that to the center again then i'm gonna go and open up my grid go down to view studio and isometric uh and then we get first this panel i'm going to press modify grid and here we have tons of options for isometric which i mean i could do a whole video, youtube video about so if you're interesting interested in seeing more isometric tutorials leave a leave a little comment below I'm going to use show grid uh, you can set the colors and everything here yourself to make everything more readable I'm just going to use something like this right now. It doesn't really matter how much. You have, uh, you can tune this to your heart's content. Uh, I'm just going to put it to isometric. Do it uh, real nice and quick. I can close down this. Uh, and I'm going to work on top. But you see here, you can quickly assign different angles. For what you have uh, set up in your grid. So uh, having my text selected, all I need to do is press fit the plane. And you see it very well fits it nice to the grid and the settings you have set up yourself right now i'm just going to go in there i'm going to turn off the grid close down there and close this and then i'm going to use this just select a new color and here you have it isometric grid and you also see now i keep snapping to the grid lines instead of uh purely x y you have an angle to everything so now we have this text here uh though i prefer to maybe add a bit of more depth to it i'm also i'm gonna now extrude this down so like you saw in the beginning that we get like this drop down as if it's like 3d so to start off i'm gonna convert this into shape uh, and I've hotkey that to control enter, uh, or that might actually be the default. You can check that in your settings. I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to add them together. Like that, move that out of the group, delete that. So now this is a shape instead of text. And that is just going to make it a bit easier for us in, uh, in the next part. And uh, now I'm going to zoom in a bit and holding down control and shift, I can move this down and like duplicate it like that now the closer in the further away you are the harder it is to make small movements so you gotta try to find just the distance where you can easily move it far enough down that you want just gonna go something like this i think will be good and now without doing anything more uh affinity designer is is smart <laughs> when it comes to duplicating so it will now remember my actions 
duplicating this one layer then i have duplication set to a uh, hotkey control d you can also right click the layer and uh, duplicate but if i now just keep duplicating it it will remember how many like how far down and in which direction i moved that layer so that is very easy if you want like consistent distance between objects that you'd copy or duplicate do it once and then you just keep duplicating and it will replicate that same motion i'm gonna select all of these i'm gonna merge them all together so they're now one big shape i'm gonna select the color i want like that and i'm gonna move my original layer up to the top so now you see we have especially from distance this works really well this is this works at it as it is but maybe you're gonna have it very big uh, and you see then that there is this obvious distance in between the layers so what you just have to do then is that between those two layers you simply go in and then you just clean up using a shape just using the pen tool creating a new shape this remove that and then select the color i want and then you see you get a very clean nice shape down and if you want if you feel like you want to be add a bit more details to it uh you could in theory now we could go in here and we could use this as base but we can then start making this darker to gain like even more depth into all of this and this is you just got to see this yourself if you also make the distance very small when you're duplicating you could also avoid this but then again you might end up with hundreds or maybe even thousands of layers um so then that's that's up to you really uh how much time and cleanup you want to spend or how much your computer can handle and then you would just go over and do this to all letters uh to finish up some letters you see you could in theory just take one layer the top layer move it down to the final destination and just fill in yourself but you do see that for example this o it already works pretty good so we've done work on some of the letters that we don't need to redo it just some cleanup parts that is necessary and i think this is uh the the fastest way and there you have it a quick and easy way to create isometric text using a fin to decider i hope you found this helpful and if so please consider leaving a like to the video and subscribing it does really help me out growing the channel. Now, if you have a suggestion of what I should cover next, please leave a comment with your suggestion. I love to cover topics you guys are interested in. If you have any art you wish to share with me, please tag me on Instagram or Twitter, or join the Discord where we have dedicated channels for art. I love to see the stuff you make. Links to all of this can be found down in doobly doobly below. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you taking your time and I will see you guys later. Stay safe out there. Bye.